if you want to make use of a source of income then you should definitely watch this video from the beginning to the end what's up on video gang is divine and welcome to divine's journal so if you are new to this channel please make sure you like this video physically and not just emotionally i'm going to be sharing tips i wish somebody told me when i started youtube i'm not telling you this from the point of pride i'm telling you this like a big sister because i know there are many people that want to start youtube channels and on my second channel many people have been asking me to create this video so yeah i'm finally making the video to get serious immediately many people who create youtube channels they will not post even if they post when they post they'll post they'll, they'll be consistent for like or oh, they post this week and then post maybe the next week and two weeks from that then they won't post till after three months then three months after three months they'll post next month then next month they'll post twice in the month then no no and do you know why it doesn't work that way if you don't get serious with youtube immediately the algorithm will not get serious with you because you want the algorithm to know who to push your videos to and if you're serious with forget even you might not know your niche but if you are consistent if you are con now consistency is different from frequency i talk about frequency in upcoming videos but i just want you to understand consistency is not about posting a video every week what consistency is about is making sure that you are appearing in a frame of mind that oh i've seen this person's face you are creating familiarity you are creating community you are creating you are trying to build around that audience or around that avatar or person that you want to reach out to that yes i am serious with youtube so you should definitely be serious about subscribing to me you should definitely be serious about watching my content you should definitely know who i am on this platform that is what consistency is and i had to learn the hard way in short i'm telling you this tip first off because this is the first thing i learned on youtube this year and i've been working towards this on my second channel making sure that because if you have do you know what's funny what's so crazy and what most new youtubers want is that they want a video to go viral but the crazy thing is that if you don't upload if you don't post videos immediately you create your channel then what is the person subscribing to the person subscribing to the air the person subscribing to watch your videos and if there are no videos to watch then even when let's say you have only one video on your page what would youtube recommend after somebody watches that video you need to build many videos so that youtube can keep on recommending more of your videos to that person and the person can feel familiar with you that's the first thing i wish i knew when i started youtube so the first thing i said was to get serious immediately now the second thing i wish i knew when i started youtube was to tell everybody to not be ashamed about it now many people will tell you that they say youtube channel and they did not tell their family they did not tell their siblings until they crushed 100k subscribers or they found their family members found out i did not tell my parents at first then my mom found out then my dad obviously and everybody found out so what's the big deal you want what is your goal your goal is for you want youtube to push your face or your channel even if you are doing a faceless channel you want you to push your channel your brand to more people it's not better you tell people that are close to you that i have this some of them might not take you seriously trust me some of them i think you are just joking and after one month you are going to give up on your youtube dream my dear tell them and the more you keep on posting like i said building familiarity and they themselves that subscribe to because they will be your first subscribers trust me i know i am one of them and so are you you are the first subscriber on your channel if you have another channel or your or your mommy or your brother or your sister they are the first people that will subscribe so when you when you are serious about it if they are the first seven people or first six people that subscribe to your channel they know that you are serious about it they will tell their friends their friends will tell their friends their friends friends will tell their friends and from there you will build a tribe a community and their friends friends will tell people that you don't know entirely and that is how because of you are posting more and you are building that familiarity like i said and you are serious about telling everybody that this is my brand and this is what i speak because the more you are able to be confident in your craft even though you, are, you might not be perfect at editing or you just started on youtube you might not be perfect at it but because of your confidence in, i do this yes this is my brand because youtube is a brand i just quit my job like i said in this video i don't know why there are many youtubers that have said so that it can be very embarrassing to classify youtube as a job 
but the truth is that many people in the alpha generation and this gen z generation their dreams are to be youtubers as an african it is actually i won't call it embarrassing because i'm not embarrassed on the people that subscribe to my channel and the people that comment on my videos and people that have left warm messages that have helped and impacted for my channel i am not embarrassed about that the only thing that could be embarrassing is when people jest about it and tell them oh what do you do for a living oh i'm a youtuber and they're like oh you do internet thing compared to someone that is going if you ask the person the person is a lawyer or the person is an it specialist or a doctor but the more you build your craft the more you can say it anywhere anytime and because of you are selling your brand people will take you seriously so this video is not going to be like any of those videos you see on your for you page i'm not going to be telling you things that you already know by now the algorithm is the people that are watching your content and they are human beings and they have different interests they are not just interested in only your content they watch a variety of videos on the web but you are still trying to find your spots with them if you are liking this video already please be sure you like the video physically the third thing i wish i knew when i said youtube was to set realistic milestones so when i said youtube i really needed a laptop and i really wanted to monetize my channel as fast as possible but guess what i already got monetized around one year then like it took me half of another year to get my google adsense pin which is another story for another day if you want to make a video about that please let me know in the comment section my goal was that after one year i must be monetized so i calculated it are watching whether youtube or instagram or whatever they are spending their time and that is the currency you should focus on so many people that are starting youtube channels they are focusing on subscribers my dear forget about subscribers subscribers are the least thing you need right now on youtube the main analytic you need to focus on are your watch hours please note it down in it in, in your journal some, somewhere your watch hours because that is how you are going to get paid when you become when you get monetized and that is how you are going to get monetized so you need watch hours the subscribers will come the subscribers will definitely come if you have enough watch hours the subscribers will come forget that thing once you have good content people that are going to be your your click they will subscribe focus on the watch hours and developing your content in the next one year and trust me you'll get monetized some people will get monetized in three months don't focus on blowing up because if you blow up and you don't have all these things i am saying and the things i will say after this if you don't have them set down and already ready by the time you blow up you might also fall victim of some mistakes i've made so my dear focus on your watch hours when it comes to your watch hours i wonder another thing i want to take note of think of your your audience like yourself now i will never post anything that i am sure that i will not really like to watch although yeah sometimes i feel like i've not edited enough or it's not enough editing or i did not video it well or i was there was a mistake i made yes i have that because of perfectionism but I will never post something that I don't feel I can watch. Like I said, you want to build confidence in your craft. If it's, if you are not good at video editing, learn video editing. If you need an editor and you can afford one, if you can't afford and you you are not, you don't have money, please don't even think of video getting a video editor. But if you can afford one, get one as fast as possible. All those things, all those skills you need. If you can't speak in front of the camera and you want to have a personal channel, start vlogging every day so you can let's start looking into the eye of the camera because th those are skills i already said so in my last video about editing that you will learn a lot of skills becoming a youtuber that you can add to your resume so i want you to take it seriously and set realistic milestones one of my goals when i said youtube was that i calculated the watch hours i needed this was what i did so i knew i had friends and my friends had friends that i did not talk to and if their friends had friends that they, they, that i did not talk to any video i made I would share the video link to my friends so they will share it on their status so if i am consistent with sharing them that link and they are consent consistently posted on their status what do you think their contact list their contact list to think that this person that is making content is actually serious i want to give a big shout out to my family friend bros adversary because he was one of those people that encouraged me and because he was constantly seeing me sending links to him and he was like wow if i keep this up keep this up you are going to do well keep on posting videos you are doing well so my dear when you take yourself seriously people will take you seriously like that's that's one of the main things about youtube that i learned 
Now, the fourth thing is never. Are you listening to me? Drag your ear. Drag it now. Never do sub for sub. I wanted to grow a YouTube channel that I was not posting on. There were no contents. But I wanted to grow the subscribers. What, what, that's so stupid. That was, that's a very stupid strategy. And I don't want you to fall victim of that stupid strategy. Like, So what do you want them to subscribe to? Because do you want to do sub, sub for sub to 10,000? How many channels will you subscribe to? You want to subscribe to 10,000 channels. So you have 10,000 subscribers. Do you think those people that you subscribe to because of they subscribe to you will watch your content? Because if they are not interested in your content, they just subscribe to you because of you subscribe to them. What you are aiming for is for people that want to watch your videos. Because watching your videos is what's going to help you make money when you get monetized. One. Two. Watching your videos is going to help you build a community. Three. When you build that, that community that are watching your videos, you'll be able to monetize from them when you have your own personal business and when brands reach out to you for collaboration. Like, you're not doing so for so business. So for so business, it's, it's going to destroy your channel. Like, bad. It's going to... You are going to, you are just going to hate yourself. Because after having 300 sub for sub, you will just see that only 10 people watch your video. And guess who those 10 people are? Your mom, your sister, your brother, your, your auntie, your uncle, yourself, 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 and yourself again. So please, I beg you, don't do sub for sub. Focus on reaching out to people. In short, you know what is so funny? What is so funny that I've learned as I'm, I'm still growing on YouTube is that in the long run, those first people that subscribe to you, like your auntie, your uncle, your sister, they are not watching your content. They just subscribe to support you. The real people that are going to become your community are the ones that are going to be watching your audience, the ones that you don't know entirely at the other end of the screen. Like now, I'm sure you that are watching this video, you don't know me. Or do you know me? <laughs> Please don't do sub for sub. So now, I really hope you are taking notes because this is something that somebody would have paid me to give and I'm giving you for free. Yes, get your jota. Now, come closer, come closer, come closer. This is the one, this is the strategy. I wish I knew. I wish I did immediately I said YouTube instead of doing sub for sub. So make sure you jot it down. Instead of doing sub for sub, subscribe to 20 channels that you want to create content similar to your future competitors whether they have 20k subscribers 9k subscribers 200 subscribers e 40 or people you really love their content and you wish you can create content like them because you are going to steal their audience that is the goal you are going to be the one to steal their audience to become your own audience so how do you now do this if you are not already watching people that you want to create content like this is what you should do on youtube you will see the heading you see that heading it has all the type of contents you watch click on them and you see recommended content to you when you see recommended content to you when you watch any of those videos and you really genuinely like the video subscribe and click make sure you click on the bell when you click on the bell make sure you click all not just personal videos all I will explain why you need to click all so once you have done this for at least 20 channels that you genuinely like watching their videos or you feel like oh you need to create content similar to these people to attract the audience you want then click the notification bell this is why you need to click the notification. first reason why you want to click the notification bell is for you to know when they post why do you want to know when they post they already have analytics on their page you are a new channel so you don't really have analytics on your page and the algorithm doesn't really know your channel but the algorithm is already familiar with their channel and they already have blown up videos on their channel so when you know when they post you will know the time for you to post to because of that time is when their audience is online and you so you can steal out of their audience that is the second thing you want to steal out of their audience i won't call it stealing so by the time their audience are seeing yeah they are posting and you see you are posting and their audience sees that oh this person also posted this time let me watch by the time we are creating more content that you have session time which i'll talk about soon the third thing is that you also want to genuinely watch their videos do you know why because of you want to comment on their videos and you know why you're commenting on their videos okay of course you are genuine you are, you are sincere you sincerely watch their video and you love their video then two you are also part of their community and because of your part of their community the more you do that in a sense on a sincere base when you watch their content the more their own community sees your post sees your comments and they're like oh 
I've seen this person before. I've seen this person comment on this person's post before. Let me check out their channel. There, there are many small YouTubers I've discovered on big YouTubers channel just by their comments. So that is another strategy you need to do. Comment. Then the fourth thing you need to do is to study their thumbnails. Now thumbnails are the packaging of your video, whether you believe it or not. They are the packaging of your videos. And if you don't understand thumbnail, ah that's another video for another day you don't have to do the best of the best thumbnail but you have to understand the thumbnail for your niche i'm not i don't think everybody should have a niche but i just think you should know what your audience is interested in watching particularly and that is the fifth thing too you really need to subscribe to those channels so that you will never run out of content ideas and that is, i will still say another another tip in this video so that you would never run out of content ideas but this is also a tip for you so you don't run out of out of content ideas when you are subscribed to their channels you will see them pushing out content and pushing out additional content you see content that you could also recreate now youtube is a personalized thing you are the person that owns your brand even if you are a company you are the company that owns your brand what you can do is to take this person's idea take this person's idea and create your own idea and that's what pablo picasso was all about and that's i really love that guy that is what art is and that is what youtube is so by the time you are you are seeing their post notifications the time they are posting, they are taking out of their community, they are commenting and liking so that YouTube knows that, oh, you like this kind of content, that is the type of content that they want to push your own content to. And YouTube is already familiarizing themselves to your channel that, oh, this, this is the type of person that will kind of like to watch your videos. They will push it out to those people. And before you know it, you'll start building your own community. By now, I really hope you have liked this video physically. Please don't just like it emotionally. Please like it so that YouTube can push it out so more people who actually need the video just like you. The video has helped you. Please don't be selfish. This is this is a free platform. Please. Thank you. God bless you. The next thing that you should do, and I wish I knew immediately I started YouTube, was to get your documents ready. The whole essence of this video is for you to make YouTube a source of income, right? If you have your documents ready, once you cross the threshold of 1,000 or 500 subscribers and 3,000 or 4,000 watch hours, you'll get monetized. But you will not be able to create your Google AdSense account where you receive your money if you don't have your documents ready and verified. So how do you verify your documents? Either have your international passport because I'm, I'm, I'm an African and I stay in Africa. And I do YouTube in Africa, but if you stay in the US or any place where you have tax, but particularly if you stay in the US, you need to have your tax documents. So as an African, you need to have your international passport or your voter's card. Preferably your international passport to avoid any stories that touch. If you don't have an international passport or you don't have your voter's card, either of the two, please go and start preparing it. Go and start getting it ready. So by when the time is set, you don't have to start running helter skelter. Also, if you don't have a foreign or domiciliary account where you can receive dollars or pounds, please create one. Because of we're in a recession era, a very, very hard one at that. I don't know what the current economy is in your country, but in my country, it has been a lot. It has been so crazy, and it's just God that is keeping head and body together. Anyway, what I'm just trying to tell you is that be able to invest more when you are making money in a foreign cu currency that is kind of stable than your currency if your currency is not stable. Preferably create a domiciliary foreign account so you can receive money directly in that currency because of either way YouTube is going to take their tax and usually their tax is like 20 to 30 percent of how much you make. I'm, this video is not talking about money. This video is talking about how to make YouTube your income. If you want to make a separate video on how youtube paid how much i've gotten paid on youtube let me know so yes please do that don't be a victim of circumstances now the next thing this is i feel so embarrassed now because i am a victim of this mistake a lot a lot of times the next thing i wish i knew when i said youtube was to get monetized immediately not to just think of AdSense. There are a lot of ways you can get monetized on YouTube without even crushing the AdSense trash and milestones. And one of the ways to get monetized is your business. What do you do outside YouTube? If you are a photographer, let your audience know that you are a photographer. If you are a video editor, let your audience know that you are a video editor. If you do, if you style people's hair for weddings 
or occasions let your audience know that oh i actually have this business and if you want to patronize me you can contact me here and i can meet you here if you do consultations let your audience know you do consultation if you model let your audience know because you might never know your new client might just be in your audience waiting for you who might even pay you more than what youtube adsense is going to pay other things people do is selling digital products like books courses which i'm getting into lately and don't worry i have i have more updates coming on so you guys stay tuned make sure you subscribe make sure you subscribe and on that topic i am proud to tell you that i already created an upwork profile and fiverr profile so if you need a video editor for your channel and you're starting a youtube channel or you want to edit instagram reels shorts or tiktok videos you can contact me in my profile the link will be in the comments or in the description box or you can contact me on any social media platform or leave a comment in the comment section i'll get back to you please patronize me too patronize me see i'm giving you free stuff patronize me you're watching this video because you know that youtube is a job and it's not just a job it's a combination of different jobs like graphic designing, like video editing, like marketing, SEO, a lot of jobs combined together. But you are going to do this because starting out, share if this is your personal channel, you are going to be the manager, you are going to be the scriptwriter, you are going to be the video editor, you are going to be the one that is optimizing, you are going to be all those things, you are going to be designing thumbnails, only you. And get ready for it, get serious minded with it. The next thing I wish I knew is to set a structure. Set a structure. Now, you need to have a structure, a step-by-step -step structure that you know, okay, once I want to create a video, whether it's on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok, this is the step-by-step -step process I should take. I know that, okay, this video is out. I've done everything I need to do to help the video maybe blow up. That is what you need to do. And for me, I have a whole lot. And if you want to make a video about how to structure the step-by-step -step things you need to take before you upload a video and after you upload a video, Please let me know in the comment section. But for me, there are four things I believe as a content creator, everybody should fulfill when they make a video or a photo post. The first thing is to research. Before you make any content, even if it's not something like science or facts backed, the first thing you need to do is to research. Oh, is this a trending sound? Can I use this trending sound? Or can I recreate this person's, this person's video? Can I use this angle or this angle or this angle? What words should I say? What should be my hook? How should I end the video? Should I make it a loop? What exactly am I going for for this video? Is it a sitting head video? Is it a vlog? What exactly am I doing in the video? That is what your research is about. The second thing is content is to shoot the video, and this is what we are doing right here. We are shooting the video. How are you going to shoot the video? Do you need to go to a location? Do you need to invite somebody? Do you need equipment? What equipment will you be using? So the second thing is shooting. The third thing is editing. And in this video, I talk about how I edit my videos using only my phone. So if you are if you are starting your YouTube channel, you should definitely check out this video because that's the next thing to do when you are done shooting your video. Package it well. Once you are done editing, the last thing you need to do is to upload and optimize it. Whether you are using SEO, hashtags, trendy sound, promoting it on other platforms, advertising, whatever you are doing. Just know how you are going to optimize it personal, how you personally want to optimize your video. I really hope this video has been giving you a lot of value and I hope that you have subscribed and liked the video physically. Yeah, because I want you to be part of my community too. The next thing I wish I knew is to create a recreate list or a recreate playlist. You know, I told you at the beginning of this video that I never run out of YouTube ideas or content to create. And one of the reasons why, because of I have a recreate playlist. Now, in this recreate playlist, just like when you have your watch later, I have a recreate playlist. When people that I'm subscribed to reach out content to me to watch, and I personally, sincerely love those contents, and like I should actually recreate these contents and put a twist to it, or I, YouTube just does its magic and just recommend a video somebody I'm not subscribed to at all. And I see the content, I'm like, this is it. This is the content I can create. I can recreate this content or I can change this in this content and make it mine. It doesn't even have to be my niche. It could be, let's say you make gaming videos. You could, YouTube might recommend a cooking video to you because of your work, watching a lot of cooking videos. And the way the person titled that cooking video might give you inspiration on how to make your gaming video. So you, I hope you get my example. You are just 
putting your spin on ideas because of ideas are given to you it's as simple as that and guess what because of you already have it saved anytime you run out of ideas you'll just instead of scrolling youtube just go to your recreate list in your playlist then check all the recreate videos you've saved get inspiration and get another idea another reason why this is very important of you might not have the knowledge of a journalist journalists are good at capturing people with headlines and that is what your title is your title is the headline of your video it's going to make somebody want to watch it so because i have this recreate list i can see how people have titled their videos and try to come up with ways to also title my videos it might not be the same thing i can retwist it i put my spin on it so that i can also learn to create better thumbnails create better titles and better content it could be the angle or this person shot from this angle i could try shooting from this angle or this person did an illustration i could try this illustration this person zoomed in or whatever the person is doing get inspiration from your recreate place start saving videos that you want to recreate so that when you run out of ideas you get inspiration you made this part of this video cheers i'm so proud of you you should probably subscribe by now honestly you should subscribe since you made this part of this video i'm going to give you a bonus tip because i know you are taking youtube seriously create your videos in hd format i told you about people watching your content on tv desktop and mobile because people are not just watching your content in one way the most popular way people watch youtube videos are on mobile because obviously your phones but you know that people are now using people are now watching content on tv and desktop share a lot of people that like you the older your channel gets and the more videos you have on your channel you'll be able to get analytics to see what your audience watch to see the time your audience come online to see all those things but before that i want you to always make sure that when you are uploading videos you are creating in hd and i don't think any youtuber i don't know most of the youtube channels i don't tell you about data buying data uploading videos they won't tell you about that now you are starting this video thing you don't have money calculate how you are going to be uploading those videos so you can make sure that you are uploading weekly i personally in my in my family house my dad does monthly subscriptions for wi-fi so when he does monthly my, when my dad does his monthly subscription for wi-fi i am using the wi-fi to upload my videos but when i was in university i did not have wi-fi so what i did was either i use youtube night or i will buy 500 naira subscription but now i don't know how, how much 500 naira subscription is via in nigeria i'm saying this because of many people struggle with data to upload their videos and it's very important that you are not just uploading videos you are uploading videos in hd format so make sure that when you are uploading videos you are uploading videos with desktop youtube studio not the youtube studio app desktop youtube studio because you want to make sure that your video is uploading in hd from the desktop app if you don't have a laptop or use your laptop to upload it you want to upload at a good resolution sure this phone i'm using is lower than the phone i had when i started the resolution is lower than the phone i had when i started youtube but i am still making my content in short i've even gotten monetized on my second channel don't focus on the equipment focus on your content and the message you are pushing out to people and because of your confidence in what you are pushing out to people people will see the confidence in you and they'll be interested in building a community with you by the time you start seeing I love this content. I, I love your videos. I love your content. Why don't you have up to 1,000 subscribers on your channel? Why doesn't this video have up to 1,000 likes? You will know that you're already doing a good job with your channel. So, second channel, somebody wants them to do a video on how to create and how I create my YouTube thumbnails. If you want me to do a video on how I create my YouTube thumbnails, please let me know in the comment section. And if you made it to this part of this video, comment your name and put the YouTuber. So, for example, my name is Divine. What I will comment is divine the youtuber so if your name is isaac you could comment isaac the youtuber let me see it in the comment section i'm so happy to respond to you also check out your channel if i'm interested in content make sure you like this video physically if you haven't i have taught you how to start manipulating the algorithm to push your videos to more people since you are just starting your channel now the next thing you need to do is to develop your content so that people can keep on watching and that's why i made this video on how i edit so make sure you check out this video